Praise the Lord. Hello, Derek Lee here. We're praying for America and time spent with the word. Father, I bless you. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you, God, for your mercy. As we pray for America, Holy Spirit, help us to pray that which is true from the word of God over America, because God, we will see the hand of you, Lord God, moving across this country. And Father, you alone get all the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. The joy of the Lord truly is our strength on today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We come to rejoice and be glad in it because we know it is only by the grace and mercy of God that we are able to even sit here in this this chair and pray for America. And thank you for standing in agreement with us. Why? Because the Bible says one can put a thousand to flight and two, 10,000. And we've been standing together in agreement, praying for America. The shifting is here. The shaking up is here because God says, once again, I will shake the heavens and I will shake the earth and everything that can be shaken. He said that he will shake it up. So what God is doing the shaking, we, my God, our place of position right now is to be on our knees Pray, my God, for America. As the Lord is doing his part, the church must be on her knees praying for America, praying for the leaders, praying for those in authority, praying for the families, praying for the children, praying for ourselves. It is time that we pray, pray, pray. Hold up the shield of faith. Carry around the sword of the spirit. David puts it best. He says, thou word have I hidden in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. It is time to pray, church. It is time to pray, precious people of the Lord God Almighty. Now, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And I have remained faithful. My God, Ooh, what a word. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. Another translation says, I have finished the course and I remained faithful. It is time for America to fight the good fight. Fight and fight good, my God. And how do you fight? <laughs> fight by standing on the word of God. Fight, my God, by speaking the word of God. Fight by praying in the Holy Ghost. Fight by worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Fight by praising him for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Fight by thanking the Lord unto day. Fight, my God, if you can, by fasting, because some things this kind can only come out by way of prayer and fasting. It is time to pray. As the Lord is moving, his people belong on their knees. Yes, that's what I hear in my spirit. As God is moving, he needs us on our knees praying. Hallelujah. There's an old song that's sung in the olden days. I remember and is let us break bread on our knees, on our knees. Let us fall on our knees and our face to the rising sun. Oh, Lord God, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy on me. And I say, Lord God, today, not only I need you to have mercy on me, but have mercy on America. Have mercy on our leaders. Have mercy on our governors. Have mercy on our assembly men. Have mercy on our elected officials across the country. Have mercy on our police department. Have mercy on our fire department. Oh God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Oh yes, God. And more importantly, Importantly, Father, have mercy on your church. Oh, my God, have mercy on us, so God, for we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Have mercy on us, God, because we know the Lord's judgment begins in his house. Hallelujah. So if it's happening in his house, you can see it happen in the church, my God, and you will see it, my God, just flowing like a river across the nations. And boy, oh boy, we've seen it happen in the church, 
And now it's just flowing throughout the nation. And what do we have to do? Talk about things? No. Get on our knees and pray to the Lord God Almighty. Because the answer is in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, Father, I thank you. I praise you, God. I thank you that you are exposing <laughs> and you are securing. I thank you, God, that you are releasing and you are disclosing. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you are opening up, Father God, and you are shutting the doors. I thank you, Father God, on today that America is seeing that you are real. Father God, if there was any doubt on your existence, this nation today is seeing that God is real. The Lord has spoken. <laughs> and those who have ears to hear will hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Bait and switch. <laughs> Bait and switch. My God, you spoke your word to your servant father, and now you are causing it to come to pass. And we thank you that by the grace of God Almighty, we are seeing these things firsthand in the land of the living. So, Father, all we need to do now is pray. So we pray for America. We pray, God, for our elected officials. I'm asking that the spirit of wisdom will rest upon this land, that the spirit of counsel will rest upon this land, the spirit of wisdom will rest upon the leaders, the spirit of counsel will rest upon the leaders. I'm asking that the spirit of revelation will come now, the spirit of knowledge, understanding the fear of the Lord. Father, let the spirit of the fear of the Lord, oh my God, Rest upon America and all of its inhabitants that all would come to see. Father, not only that you are real, but Father, you speak, you see, you hear, you walk, you move, and you laugh. And so, God, cause us, give us the grace to hear the sound of your laughter. Oh, God, that's my personal prayer. Help me to hear the sound of your laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray over America today, even now, I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to hover like a pillow of cloud by day, hover over America. And like a pillow of fire by night, burn your holy fire across America in Jesus' name. And that everything that does not please you, God, as we repent and ask for your forgiveness, cleanse us as a people, cleanse us as individual, cleanse me, God. Cleanse this country and bring this country to where you need it to be, where you are first and everything else aligned with your perfect will for America for such a time as this. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless the name of the Lord. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. We are going to face a day unlike no other today. This is why when the Lord says, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no mind can comprehend. This one thing we know for sure, we have goodness and mercy following us everywhere we go. So we don't dread, we don't sweat, we don't stress because we're under the canopy of Psalm 91, knowing that as long as we stay in the secret place of the Most High, it is guaranteed that we will abide under the shadow of the Almighty as he keeps us as the apple of his eye and give his angels charge over us. Let's pray for America, brothers and sisters. Pray, pray, pray. Don't try to make sense of nothing. Just pray. Hallelujah. Because when we spend time praying, oh yes, the answer comes when we are on our knees. I know what I'm talking about. The answer comes when we are on our knees, seeking the face of God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may you be strong in the Lord. Don't give up hope. We've come too far. Keep fighting the good fight of faith and keep the sword of the spirit close by the word of God. Put on the whole arm of God. Stand firm because the battle belongs to the Lord. We don't fight against flesh and blood. Remember this. You know this. Be reminded of it. It is principalities and powers, spiritual rulers, wickedness in high places. This is all the more reason why 
we have to stand on nothing else but this. The Rima and the Logos. My God, in Jesus' name. Well, until the next time, don't let no one who cannot create a day mess, you, mess up your day. God bless America. God causes glory to rest upon this country and take us from faith to faith, glory to glory. And until the next time, shalom.